Humans have always had this morbid fascination with the dead and death itself. But what if you could perfectly preserve the dead? So much so that they look completely alive in most cases. Well, watch out, because you're in for a macabre experience today. I want to bring you 10 corpses that are so well preserved, they look pretty much alive. I hope you enjoy. Number one, Vladimir Lenin. This horrifyingly alive looking man is Vladimir Lenin, the father of Russian communism and the first leader of the Soviet Union. His death was followed by the consecutive succession of his throne by Stalin. The government decided to preserve the body of Lenin for future generations. As no attempts to mummify a body had ever been attempted before, the Russians had to invent a highly complex process of embalming. Lenin's body requires extensive chemical baths, injections, and evaluation. The body's organs were removed and replaced with a humidifier and pumping system, designed to maintain the body's core temperature and fluid intake. His mummy is so well preserved, as is evident from the image, that it looks like he will wake up any time now. Creepy, isn't it? When the Soviet Union existed, Lenin's suit was changed once every year. Since the fall of the communist nation, his suit is changed once every five years. Number two, Eva Peron. When she died from cancer in 1952, Eva Peron was one of the most beloved women in all of Argentina. She was the first wife of then president, Juan Peron. This fueled the decision to embalm her body. The procedure was performed by renowned professor of anatomy, Dr. Pedro Anna. His embalming technique was so good, it was referred to as the art of death. The procedure included replacing the blood and water weight with glycerin, which preserved all internal organs, including the brain. The process took one year to complete. Her body is so lifelike that it was stolen by the new government and hidden somewhere in Italy. A caretaker was driven mad by sexual fantasies of the body and fell in love with it. Later, the body was returned to Argentina and buried with dignity. Number three, Rosalia Lombardo. Deep in the catacombs of the Capucan monks in Sicily, inside a tiny glass casket lies the little body of Rosalia Lombardo. When she died in 1920 of pneumonia, her father, General Lombardo, was devastated. He sought the services of Italian embalmer Alfredo Salafia to preserve her. Using a mixture of chemicals including formalin to kill bacteria, zinc salts to petrify the body and its organs, alcohol, salicylic acid and glycerin. The end result was nothing short of extraordinary. The body was so well preserved she came known as Sleeping Beauty. Number 4. Lady Xin Zhu, also known as Lady Dai, was the wife of Li Kang, the Marquis of Dai, during the Han Dynasty. She gained fame more than 2,000 years after her death when her tomb was discovered inside a hill known as Mawangju in Changsha, Hunan, China. She is undisputed the single best preserved mummy ever found not in terms of physical appearance, but in simple completeness of her body. Unlike Lenin, her internal organs are perfectly intact. Unlike Evita, her tissues are still soft to the touch and her limbs are bendable. Her hair is complete and there is type A blood in her veins. The condition of the body is such that an autopsy was performed. Now, here is the most astonishing part. She is 2,100 years old. Meet Xin Zhu, AKA Lady Di, the diva mummy. Number five, La Doncella. Over 500 years ago, 15 year old La Doncella and two other children were left to freeze to death by the Inca in a ritual sacrifice. Sitting cross-legged high at Mount Lulai Larco, she was drugged with chicha and coca leaves to induce a heavy sleep and left to die as an offering to the sun god. In 1999, archaeologists discovered the remains of La Doncella and two other children. Number 6. Dashi Dozo Itigalov. He was a Russian Lama Buddhist monk who died mid-chant in the lotus position in 1927. His last testament was a simple request to be buried the way he was found. True to his wishes, he was buried in a lotus position, wearing the exact same robes he died in. In 1955, monks exhumed his body and discovered it to be incorrupt. It was again exhumed in 1973 to the exact same discovery. 
In a time when Soviet anti-theistic authorities policed the Russian state, the findings were not announced until 2002. Number 7. The Tolond Man. Do you believe this peaceful, careworn face is that of a 2,000 year old bog body? Discovered by accident in 1950 in the bogs of Danish Jutland Peninsula by some unsuspecting peat farmers. So well preserved was this pre-Iron Age corpse that he filled his discoverers into thinking he was a present day murder victim. Turns out he's a relic from the past, one of many bog bodies that have been found in Jutland. Nearly 60 years of examination have revealed that this was possibly a hanging victim of a sacrifice. Rope marks were discovered around his neck and his tongue was swollen, common with hanging victims. An autopsy of the man's stomach revealed a last meal of veggies and a variety of seeds, some wild, some not. Unfortunately, preservation techniques in the 1950s were somewhat limited, so only Tolland man's head, feet and right thumb were permanently preserved. Number 8. The Tattooed Yukok Princess If you need another reminder that tattoos are forever, Yukok Princess proves this point. While her body itself isn't particularly well preserved, she is notable for the intricate tattoos that still paint her mummified skin, despite the fact that she died more than 2,500 years ago. She was around 25 years old when she passed away, and digital recreations show that her tattoos include animals such as deer, but with a mythical twist. The deer in her tattoo has a Capricorn's antlers and a griffin's beak. Researchers believe she was a member of the Perserk tribe, who lived in the mountains of Siberia. These nomads held a deep-seated belief that tattoos helped people find one another in the afterlife. Because of this, their tattoos were some of the most elaborate in the world at that time. Close to her remains, which are uncovered in 1993, were the remains of six horses, which were also thought to play an important role in escorting people into the afterlife. How about that? Number 9. Saint Bernadette. She was born a miller's daughter in 1844, Lords, France. Throughout her life, she reported apparitions of the Virgin Mary on an almost daily basis. One such vision led her to discover a spring, which has been reported to cure illness. 150 years later, miracles are still being reported. Bernadette died at age 35 from tuberculosis in 1879. Her body was exhumed in 1909 during her canonization, and she was discovered to be incorrupt. She was exhumed again in 1919, where doctors noted that the body had mummified with some mold and deterioration to the skin in some areas. In 1925, her body was exhumed a third and final time. Two of her ribs were removed and sent to Rome, a common move during the French canonization process. Molds were taken of Bernadette's face and hands where wax casts would be placed. The body can be found in the chapel of St. Bernadette where it remains today. And number 10, John Torrington. Sometimes Mother Nature can preserve a body even better than an embalming process can. Meet John Torrington, petty officer of the fabled Franklin expedition to the Arctic Circle. He died of lead poisoning at the age of 22 and was buried in the frozen tundra along with three others at the expedition's campsite. In the 1980s, his grave was exhumed by scientists in an attempt to discover the cause of the expedition's failure. When they opened the coffins and thawed the solid block of ice inside, they were astonished and frightened by what was inside. John Torrington staring back at them, literally. Frozen in a block of ice for over 150 years, the body was perfectly preserved. The only sign of decay was the shriving of the eyelids and lips. He still wore the same clothes he died in. Hey, if you enjoyed the video, please make sure you subscribe. I produce videos every single day, similar to the one you just watched, and it would really mean a lot. So anyways, catch you around.